What's going on guys? Tonight we're going to be installing a Leupold Delta Point Pro on my new SIG P320X5 Legion. Uh, before we get started, it comes with your new screws. You will need a 332nd Allen wrench and a inch-pound torque wrench set to 25 inch-pounds with a T15 bit on it. So we'll go ahead and get started here. They are clear. Lock it to the rear. Take down lever. This one's only had 50 rounds through it, so it's still pretty stiff. All right, take out your recoil guide and spring. Barrel. All right. And from underneath, to take the rear side off, you need to get to these two. 332nd screws. You can get to this one. This one you have to take the striker assembly, as well as extractor assembly out. So do that. When you take this back plate off, just to press down the extractor guide. Just using a pin here, so I get it down. There we go. Start your back plate off. Just keep a little pressure on it, because that striker will pop up a little bit. Set that aside. Take out your striker assembly. You wanna be careful because there is a little spring in there. See that and you can lose that pretty easily. Set that aside. Pull out your extractor assembly. Get it to come out here. There we go. It's got your guide, your spring and your pin all in one assembly. And then your extractor. Just wiggle it out. There it is, set it to the side. Okay, so we get our 332nd Allen wrench. Take these screws out, and I may cut this through the boring parts here as I get these out. And there's two. Right. And we'll take our back plate off. These Dawson Precision sights are very nice, by the way. But the reason I bought this was to shoot carry optics. And you can see it's got a little dovetail in the front. Just lift up on the back. Okay. So now we can take our delta point, line it up with the holes in there. Take our new screws, drop them down. These already have the Loctite on them. And take our wrench, again set to 25 inch pounds. And two. Mm -hmm. So there's a slot with the side on it. And yep, it's working. All right, so now we'll get it all back together. Start with our extractor. Oop. Set it in. All right. Recoil guide assembly. This has a little notch on it. You can see it like that. You want this notch facing out like that. That way it grabs the extractor, slide it in. You can see it come through. Grab your extractor there. There we go. Now striker assembly. Carefully get it back in right there. Take a backing plate. Get it started to press on the striker. There we go. Press their extractor gun and it snaps back in. Right. There. 
normal reassembly. Barrel, recoil guide and spring. This one's still pretty tight. Okay, put it on. Slide on. Lock it to the rear. Take down back. Function check. Reset. I have noticed with these SIGs sometimes, if you don't lock it back to the rear like there, the striker won't work. You'll have a dead trigger. So lock it back, then drop the slide. Trigger always seems to work. All right. Now all's left to do is go get it sided in. Thanks for watching.